So when you're dealing with plant and machinery and, and learning how to calculate cap allowances, what you've got to do is you've got to take all your plant and machinery, all your different tables and chairs that the business has bought the capital expenditure on uh, plant and machinery, and you've got to put it into a category. I, I always call it like a box. And there are, for individuals, there are um, five boxes, and for companies there are four boxes. And some of the boxes have got more that can put more than one thing in those particular boxes, and they're called pooled boxes. And then other boxes are called non-pooled, whereby they would only have a maximum of one item in them. So, for example, everything, a, a pooled category has got pool in its name, and a non-pooled category does not have the word pool in its name. So, for example, a general pool is an example of a pooled category. Uh, an expensive car, an example, is non-pooled, and a short-life asset is also non-pooled, and a special rate pool is also a pooled category. All right, so pooled, remember, means you can have more than one item in there, and non-pooled means there's only one item per box. Uh, the general pool will have things in it like uh, computers, uh, things like low uh, cars, low CO2 cars and medium CO2 cars and vans and uh, tables. All right, so some examples of items that go in the general pool. Now, the thing about tax is that it changes every year. And when we're talking about tax today, if you're buying a car, the car is defined as low emission, medium emission or high emission. And depending on whether the car is low or medium emission or high emission depend, will determine where it goes. So a medium or low emission car goes in the general pool and a high emission car go into the special rate pool. Before the rules that we have today, the previous rules divided cars into cheap and expensive. So if you bought a car last year or the year before or the year before that, then the car was defined as expensive. So an expensive car is one that costs more than £12,000 and it was bought uh, before the current year. So we say that it was brought forward from before. So brought forward. So, today if you buy a car, then it depends on how much pollution it produces. If you bought a car previously, it was dependent on how much it cost. An asset with private use by the owner, like, um, would be something like a car. So cars can be low, uh, medium or high. Cars would be an example of an asset that maybe the owner uses partly for his own personal use and partly in the business. So short life assets got a, an asset like like life of less than or equal to four years uh, and would be something like a computer. Uh, we say that the computer is depooled. So first of all we need to know what plant and machinery is so we can visualize vans and lorries and cars and computers and equipment and all these different things, what it is, the definition, tools of the trade the legislation says, the syllabus says, the definition and then we need to know the categories. The next thing we need to know is all the different allowances that you can get, all the different ones and the first one is called an annual investment allowance or an AIA for short. Now the rate of AIA is 100% and that means that if you buy some uh, plant and machinery, but the AIA, one of the things I should mention to you, is not available for cars. So if you bought a car, then you cannot get the AIA only for items that are not cars. So the AIA is not available for cars. The AIA. Maximum AIA is £50,000. So the rate is 100% up to 
up to a maximum of fifty thousand, and not for cars. So, for example, if you bought some equipment for, let's say, it cost you, let's say, sixty thousand pounds, and you were trying to work out your capital allowances, I'll call it capital allowances for short, then you would get an AIA of fifty thousand. Or if your equipment cost you thirty thousand, then you get an AIA of thirty thousand. Okay, so remember the biggest figure you can get is fifty thousand. The first year allowance. Well, there are two first year allowances. The first one is called the forty percent first year allowance. I, I talk about that being like a special offer, and you can only get that if you buy your plant and machinery during uh, a, a, a special. Off a period, so between the sixth of April oh nine and the fifth of April ten. So the second one is the forty percent FYA. The third one is called the hundred percent FYA, and that is for low emission cars. Low emission cars. So hundred percent one. And then the last one we're going to talk about. Oops, the last one we're going to talk about. Is the writing down allowance, and the writing down allowance is normally going to be twenty percent, but on the special rate pool, it is ten percent. So, for example, medium cars, they're in the general pool; they follow the twenty percent WDA. Special rate pool, the high emission car gets a WDA of ten percent. So, a third one. So, all the allowances end with the word with the letter A. So, we've had. Um, annual investment allowance, and we've had the first year allowance, the forty percent one, and the high, the hundred percent one for the low emission cars, and then we've got the uh, writing down allowance or the WDA, which is sometimes twenty percent, or sometimes for the special rate pool only, it's going to be ten、uh, percent. So things that go into the、um, things that go into the general pool will get the AIA. And they could also get the FYA forty percent, couldn't they? And they can get the WDA as well, twenty percent WDA. Things in the special rate pool can get the AIA. They can't get the forty percent FYA, but they can get the WDA at ten percent. Expensive cars, they can get the WDA. But the rule is the maximum they can get is three thousand pounds. So that's another little rule, as you can see, that you have to remember. Another another rule. So lots of rules. So those are all the allowances that we need to know about. A summary there. Showing you all the different rules about cars, because cars are a little bit tricky now. So that's a sort of a summary of what plant and machinery is, what allowances you can get, and the next thing we're going to do is how to calculate them. So I'm going to stop at that point, and we'll then talk about how to calculate them、uh, in the next session. See you soon.